Oh, when the saints go marching in, oh, when the saints go marching in. To live is Christ, to die is gain. G'day everyone, Brian here. The letter to the Philippians comes from Paul, but also from Timothy. One of the important things to know about the ministry of Paul is that he didn't do it on his own. I grew up with the image of Paul as kind of like the Lone Ranger. He would go into a place, he would proclaim the gospel, and then he'd ride out in a cloud of dust. But as I've read the letters more carefully, I realised that he's never on his own. He's always with someone, and here it is Paul and Timothy. He describes themselves as servants of Christ Jesus, or slaves of Christ Jesus is the better translation. They are utterly committed to serving him. God's will, not their own, is their deciding factor. And this letter is written to the church in Philippi. But that's not how he addresses it. He addresses it like this. To all the saints in Christ Jesus at Philippi, together with the overseers and deacons, to all the saints in Christ Jesus at Philippi. We have come to think of saints as people who are remarkably holy, who do something remarkably special, who are far greater than anything we could ever be. But as you read the letters to the New Testament, we should come to the conclusion that, in fact, the people who love Jesus are the saints. So when we sing, when the saints go marching in, Lord, I want to be in that number. It's not about having your face in a stained glass window or having people praying to you. It's about trusting Jesus. Paul writes to the saints in Christ Jesus at Philippi. I hope he would address a letter to you in such a way. May God's grace and peace come to you as we work our way through Philippians. Have a great day. I'll see you tomorrow.